guys after that terrible Vero Moda haul yesterday today I went to Sainsbury's my name is Spawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place I do shopping I do hauls I do unboxings I do a little bit of home dec decor decor <laughs> I mostly come on here and have a laugh um, if you like that kind of thing please do thumbs up click subscribe and leave me a comment so as I say if you've watched the Vera Modo haul, you'll know that I got the sizing massively wrong and it was really quite heartbreaking to do. Even though I knew it was just a size issue, it really made me feel pretty grim. So today I went to Sainsbury's and I hit the, um, the clothing. Now there's some things in here that are for my grandkids, but I'll show you those as well. So starting with the grandkids, I got the boys mad trunks, pants. They don't wear pants. Um, I don't know why, they just don't. Their mum and dad think pants are weird. So uh, well, they wear trunks. And so for Levi, I got ones with pizza on and um, oh, chips and jelly beans. And for my Milo, who is still dinosaur mad, his all have dinosaurs on. These were 8 50 for Levi's size and nine pounds for Milo. And it's five pairs. I think that's a lot for kids pants but it seems to be the going rate they are good quality but i just you know since when a little kid's pants that kind of price i can buy pants for that then i bought them some shorts and t-shirts so we're heading into that weather so for little levi who loves girly colors bright colors think um oh ice cream sundaes that's that's my levi so i got him these it's an orange pair or a peachy orange pair and a turquoise pair in his size it's 11 pounds for two pairs they're really nice they're strong they're um like a sort of a like a chino and to go with i bought this t-shirt probably to go with the blue i hold them up <laughs> and i bought whoops this really cute tie-dye t-shirt probably to go with the peachy coral color the t-shirts were mm -mm, 350 for the beach scene and five pounds for the tie back tie back <laughs> oh god tie dye <laughs> for my milo i bought him the same color shorts because i just think they are super cute colored shorts and I bought him a blue t-shirt to go with the blue. But I mean, it could equally go with the peach, to be fair, because it's got the peach colour. Um, what does it say? California or something on it. And that one is 350 And then I bought him a yellow one. Used to be his favourite colour, yellow. Uh, and this one was £4. And again, it's a sort of um, oh, Venice Beach. So that was the boys. And can you believe I didn't buy a single thing for my little Lara? But now onto the bits that are more interesting, which is things I bought for me. I don't know if you remember the bras. I was raving about them. I bought four of them. They were two lots of two because they come in two packs in the winter. They were pale blue and grey. This summer, they're now doing them in a soft sort of rosy pink and, whoops, a daisy, a cream. They are so comfortable ladies under t-shirts under anything where you you know you don't want nippleage showing um these are 12 pounds for the two which makes them six pounds a bra and I, I i mean i can only tell you how comfortable they are i won't be trying them on <laughs> i bought to try my hair i think is thinning and i saw this planter 39 I've decided to give it a go. It was £9.50, which, you know, for a shampoo that I know very little about, is quite a bit. But this one is for fine, brittle hair, which is, my hair is fine, and it does break really easily. Um, it says for hair over 40, and it's supposed, it's phytocaffeine. It's supposed to help with post-menopausal hair, helping it to grow and helping it to last. And I thought, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try and put it in my diary when I start it, use the bottle and then tell you guys, was it worth it? Did it work? Do I feel my hair is any sort of thicker and stronger? I picked up a sale item. 
this was 20 pounds down to 10 now you know i'm not great with cream but i was actually thinking although i will put it on as a shirt i was thinking of wearing it more as a jacket over t-shirts um it has roll-up sleeves it's got that safari look going on which again is huge this year uh, as i say it was 10 pounds it's got pockets on the front i was visualizing it with shorts if i ever find any shorts that i like this blouse was full price 16 pounds i fell in love with the colors i like the stripes in it i have a suspicion it won't look nice on me it was one of those that i picked up put down picked up put down but easy breezy this is the sort of thing i like over a pair of jeans that are a little bit too tight and i need to cover my stomach i just think this shirt is cute i picked up a t-shirt dress now guys it doesn't have sleeves and you know i feel funny about that and i'm not great with pale gray but this was the only color it came in i do like the fact that it's elasticated and it has the tie waist i also like the fact that it has pockets but more to the point i love the fact that it was 10 pounds moving on another shirt you see i've got it on the brain at the moment i bought those jeans from lakira that i feel are a bit too tight around my stomach i need longer length tops tend to wear a lot of black so i needed to start again with some things so another shirt this one is green stripes on white it's linen i believe it's linen it feels yes linen rich so i suppose it's not 100 percent linen but there's a lot of linen in it again it's roll tab sleeves i wish they wouldn't do that i wish they'd do something else but it's nice and long and i think could look great over jeans oh and this one <laughs> was 18 pounds we're getting there now another shirt this one 18 pounds again i liked the minute i saw it it's made out of a very funny material um but it's got this sort of tie-dye effect going on again i was thinking wouldn't it make a great jacket as well as a blouse if i wanted it to um again roll tab sleeves you know here we go but i do like it i like the color i like the design did i say how much it was it was uh 18 pounds another t-shirt dress but this one's a long one this one again no sleeves but i like the stripe i like the v-neck i like the fact that it's long it doesn't have pockets which would have made it perfect but it could be a really easy breezy comfy wandering around the garden kind of dress throw a shirt on top uh, and this was 16 pounds and the last clothing item now i've gone really bold here girls you're gonna have to tell me if i'm mad i picked up a denim jacket in this really bright corally pink i think the color's fabulous whether it suits me i don't know but i just thought it was great and would inject summer it's like summer in a jacket um this one was 25 pounds so that was all the clothing and then the last couple of bits i bought both the same i got they're doing habitat now i got for the nature bedroom some bedding i got two sets because i'm getting uh, a bed with a truckle underneath so it will fold out and be a double but but you'd use two singles um it's white with just it's almost like a pale coffee stain on it like someone's dripped coffee on it but i just thought it was a really nice neutral it is lovely fabric because it's habitat it's cool cotton and tensile and it's 180 thread count which is not bad um on the uh price label it said it was 18 pounds on the shelf edge but actually when i put it through the checkout it went through at 14 pounds 50 so they must be having some sort of discount on it so i was really happy to get the two and i think it'll blend really well so that's it let's do a try on fingers crossed <laughs> after yesterday oh i want something to be too big <laughs> let's go I thought I'd start with the long dress and I love it. It really is so soft and comfortable. As I say, if it had pockets, it would be even more perfect, but I really do like it. It's a lovely fit. It's really comfortable. Um, I think that this is one of those that will just carry me through the summer. It's fun. Nice splits at the side. They come quite high, but they're not too bad. I think it's a really great buy. As I don't have any shorts that I like at the moment, I've just pulled on some simple leggings to show you the shirt. So I think this is a really nice shirt. I don't know about you. As I say, I could wear it undone 
as um, a jacket, you know, a throw over over a little dress. But I love the length, it's covering my bum. I love the front, it's covering my gut. Um, there's enough room for my boobs inside. It's a nice linen mix. They've done one rolled up on one plane so that you can see the difference. I like it, I think it'll be staying. This one, strangely enough, I love the colours on it, but it's a funny fit. It sort of starts out here, it, it's boxy, it's not quite long enough to be, you know, comfortable that your bum is covered. It's an odd blouse, it's or shirt, I don't know what you'd call it. It, it feels odd. And it looks odd on. It either should be shorter and more sort of blouse-like or longer and properly shirt. It's sort of sitting somewhere between the two. So if you're short-bodied, it maybe would be ideal for you. It's just not ideal for me. This is one. I said to you that I was yes, no, yes, no about it. It should have stayed no. I like this. It looks good, yeah? But it's got those weird sleeves. You can see in the sleeve, but also it sort of brings the blouse, makes the shirt or the blouse do something very strange when you're wearing it. It's nice and long, and as a jacket, if that's the only way I was gonna wear it, it would probably work, but I want them to do double time, so, or double duty, so I'm not gonna keep them, because it just, it sort of catches you, because the sleeves are sort of overgrown, it, it catches and behaves in a very strange fashion on my body, so it's not for me. I really like this shirt. This is the one that was in the sale. It was £10 instead of 20 Again, it's linen heavy, I would say. I think it's really nice. I wish it was longer. I wish it would come down here. I couldn't wear it with leggings. It would be a jeans only type shirt, or as I say, a jacket over something shirt. But I like it enough that it's worthwhile, even though, as I say, it's far too much bum on display. But I can see this working beautifully with jeans and undone with a t-shirt underneath. I think it would look amazing. So I'm really, really pleased with this one. And girls, it's cream. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I like this, even though it is this pale grey and has no sleeves. It's a really nice, for £10, guys, it is such a nice dress. It's a lovely fit, lots of room and movement. It has the elasticated, is it elastic? No, drawstring waist, I should say. I wish it was a V rather than a scoop. And as I said, I wish it had sleeves, but then <laughs> I'm always wanting to change everything. For £10, I think that this is a really, really nice summer dress. I know the colours aren't right, so I wouldn't wear these together, but I want to show you what I mean about this shirt. It looks like a jacket. It just looks like a jacket. I mean, if this was a, well, pretty much any other colour dress, I just don't think grey works with it. But look how well it works just as a throw-on. If I had on a, you know, a vest-style T-shirt and a pair of shorts, I'm wandering around at home, I want to pop to the shops, but I want a little bit more coverage. Look how cute that is. I think with denim and other colours, this is going to look great. What do we think, guys? I'm not sure. It's a very boxy one. Now, I bought it oversized. I believe I bought a 20, maybe a 22. I'm not sure because I was thinking it looked a bit narrow. But now I've put it on, it is too big. So I'd have to try it in the smaller size. But even if I went smaller, it's, it's very square feeling. I love the colour. I'm hoping that the colour looks great on me and I'm trying to imagine what it would look like if it fitted better. Would I? I'm holding a bit at the back now to see if... I'm not sure. The jury is out for me on this one because it is very bright. So it has to be... It has to work because it's bright. I'm quite happy to wear something loud these days, which I never used to be, so long as the thing absolutely works and I'm not sure so there we go same as Brees. it fitted I knew my size I understood their sizing there was nothing that didn't fit there was something that's actually too big because I've started being really uh funny with myself because I've gained weight and I'm tending to uh yeah go up an extra size because I just can't bear things that are too tight 
but I've had some great successes. I just wish this was black. If this came in other colours, come on Sainsbury's, from my lips to your ears. I love this top. Um, you're going to have to let me know about that bright orangey corally jacket. But the other things, I think they were obvious, the ones that worked and the ones that didn't. I'm happy. I don't feel so awful about myself. <laughs> Oh, yesterday's really crashed the old ego. So that's me. Don't forget Sainsbury's. They are amazing. Take care of yourselves. Be well. And I'll see you really, really soon. Bye, guys.